Welcome everyone to another edition of Get Your Game On and this special Star Wars Day edition. May the 4th be with everyone watching. As many of you know, I am a Star Wars nerd and I figured what a perfect day to actually show you guys some Star Wars Squadrons in the DOF Reality H6 motion simulator. Now that being said, nothing ever works out as planned. I uh, did a full recording and uh, all that good stuff and came out to the edit and found out the microphone settings were way too low and you couldn't even hear me. So in the simulator, you probably see my mouth moving. Ignore that because you can't really hear it. <laughs> Anyways. But I'm going to do a little voiceover because uh, I want to get this out today. And if I have to set everything up again, it's going to take way too long. So we're just going to do some voiceover at the top of the action here. Um, I started up a single player game here. It's just a practice game to warm up. And you can see I'm going up against a lot of the uh, just stock TIE Fighters and TIE Interceptors. I'm in my trusty old X-Wing. And uh, I've always loved the X-Wing ever since I was 8 years old. And it's absolutely a joy to fly. I'm using the Vario Arrow. And I can tell you in the Vario Arrow, Star Wars Squadrons may be one of the best visual treats that you get. Because there's all this debris as you can see out there. And everything is so clear. So... Even when you're flying through all the debris, even when it's off to the side, you can see every little nook and cranny, every charred end. It's just a constant visual treat for the eyes in the Vario Arrow versus like most flight sims, you might see some clouds or, you know, things like that, but there's not a lot of things you're actually flying through. Hopefully, you don't want to be crashing into things. But in, in Star Wars Squadrons, the arrow actually uh, really does make a huge difference and that edge-to-edge uh, -edge clarity really plays a big part of it. So, I'm just kind of warming up here. Um, we're going to get into a multiplayer game after this, but I was basically just trying to clear out the uh, wave of TIEs and TIE Interceptors and TIE Fighters. So, uh, we're kind of narrowing them down. Um, one thing in this game, you, you want to stay on top of your shields, but make sure your shields stay charged up. You always want to manage your shields forward and back. When something's coming at you, you want to basically adjust your shielding constantly. So, that's what we're doing here. Um, kind of flying out, uh, shooting off a torpedo there. I'm like, there's no chance it's going to hit. But what the heck, I had a couple proton torpedoes on me. Figured I'd see if I could hit a TIE fire with them. Could not, <laughs> if you're wondering. That was not a thing. So, um, You see we got a lot of the motion going on in the squadrons. Now, squadrons, unfortunately, doesn't really have any telemetry. So this is actually faking the motion in the motion platform. The motion is strictly tied to the movement of the joystick. So unlike other games like DCS where you actually get telemetry from the game and like it gives you the things like when you hit the deck, it kind of gives you a jolt or you know any kind of turbulence, you get some of that. This game is strictly playing off of how I move that joystick. Now, I will tell you, even with it being simplified, because you basically have your pitch roll and your yaw, it still is a pretty cool experience, especially for a farm kid who always wanted to join the Rebellion. So, um, not as good as it could be with telemetry, but, uh, because there is none, but it's still a really cool experience, and it's still far outweighs not having any motion at all. Now, there is a, a telemetry patch out there, I guess, um, that you can use through the SRS software. But the problem with that is if you get into multiplayer, which I love multiplayer, I love seeing how good I can do against other people, uh, it considers that a hack, and it can basically uh, kick you off the server because it's seeing some sort of software interfering that it doesn't recognize. So I don't want to be accused of cheating. That's one of my pet peeves. I hate cheaters. And uh, so I basically just run it like this. That way there's no potential possibility of software interfering with my online PvPing. So um, I think we're just about done with this match here. Again, if I, uh, if I was in the game, I could tell you exactly what I was doing, what I was thinking. But uh, that audio did not come through. So I believe we're coming down to one of the last uh, fighters here. And so you can see the ship's taking a little damage. I'm at 46. I apparently let somebody get a hold of me. Uh, we we'll launched another proton torpedo. See another TIE fighter flying out there. So boom, right through it. Killed it. Flew through the debris. That was cool. Took a little damage doing it, but you can see my windshield. My windshield's just a little cracked up there. But I'm not going to throw in the towel. I still have, I think, one target left. 
So we'll go after him and see what we can do. There he is. It's an interceptor. We'll get behind him and blow him out of space. Boom. That would have been the last guy. So that was kind of my warm-up round. Took a lot more damage than I really wanted to, but uh, it's okay. So here we are loading into a multiplayer match. I cut out all the searching for the game. That was several minutes. So we're basically going straight into the game here. So you can see us play. And uh, here's my loadout. Can I get an idea? I'm going to switch over to the A-Wing here for multiplayer. I like the multiplayer uh, A-Wing because I basically can be a little nimble gunship with concussion missiles and uh, some auxiliary missiles, all that kind of stuff. So I basically can kill all the power to my lasers and just fly around chucking missiles and things at people until those run out. So um, I love the A-Wing from its nimble standpoint, but boy, this thing is weak. The A-Wing you can see is right in the front there. This thing cannot take a lot of hits. So it's critical that you always manage uh, to get away from danger and keep your shields up as much as possible. So the first thing I ever do when I start a match, uh, I always crank the shields up, kind of hang back until my shields are overcharged, and uh, you know basically have double the shields. See, we got three X-Wings flying in here. So I'll join them into formation and uh, start picking up targets. So here we go, into the fray. You can see I got Grogu riding along with me. Grogu's a little bobblehead uh, on the front dashboard. So love that show. Love to have Grogu with me. So here we are coming up on our first target. Uh, we got a bomber coming up behind him. A little too close to get all the missile locks. Uh, but uh, we're going to go ahead and try to take him out before he takes our buddy out. He's shooting at him, and he doesn't seem to care if I'm behind him or not. So we'll just uh, see if we can make him pay for that. So we'll... Uh, just blow him up keep him killing our buddy so I did have to move a little uh, power to the lasers just because I was right on him and couldn't get those missile shots and here I got, uh, got a missile coming and we evade that that's the first kill it's moving on and uh, kind of cruising for my next target I tried to take out the bombers because they seem to do the most damage to my friendlies and boom uh, I got killed there so there we go, first death. Let's see. Looks like it was a TIE interceptor came up behind me. And uh, apparently didn't notice him or I was I was weak. So there we go, the scoreboard. We were right in the middle. Not too bad. Got one kill. Let's see if we can do better. Get good, noob. So again, starting off. Here we go. Crank those shields up first thing. Get those shields all to full white. So you've got double shields front and back. Once that's done, I like to put the power to the motors and uh, just start flying quick. So find us a target. I generally target the nearest threat, or if somebody's uh, attacking me, I also try to pick somebody up in front again. There you go, you see, we got our missiles just pile driving that guy, he's done. So that's that's the hit and run tactic that I really love to do in the A-Wing. And you see we got another bomber right here. Uh, it's friendly, we'll get on the bomber, and we'll fly around. I will tell you, it's a little harder to uh, be as competitive in multiplayer when you're in the most popular. Oh, and there's the guy stops. My favorite mistake in uh, bounce off a rock. So luckily I didn't blow up. I still had shields up. But I love when people, they don't know about dogfighting and they just come to a halt. That's like easy pickings. People, if you play squadrons, never kill your speed. Always, you know, keep moving. Speed is your friend. You become stagnant. You're an easy target for anybody that knows how to dogfight at all. So Keep moving, stay fast, stay agile, um, as you can see. So here's another guy. We're going to pop him. He's just a TIE fighter. The TIE fighters aren't nearly as, as strong as the other ones. Oh, we got a missile on us. So let's see if we can get it evaded without losing, uh, losing our track of our target too bad. We need some evasion maneuvers to get back on target. Follow him. I also don't play with a lot of the helps. Um, I do have my target bracketed, obviously, but there's a lot of other helps that you can get on screen. Um, I like to be as minimal. I like I like difficulty. I like to play games in difficult modes, so I try to keep it as uh, minimalistic as I can to make it a challenge for myself. So we just kind of bounced off another X-Wing, I guess, who's uh, tracking the same target. I saw him bounce into me, but uh, it's all right. Now we got another missile coming in, and I'm out of countermeasures, so now i got to do some flying. Try to evade the missile. I evade it so good I go out of bounds and uh, have to get back into bounds. And here we are back on target. Get some missiles on this guy. Another missile headed my way. See if I can evade it. 
bait it with some drifting and high speed maneuvers and we're able to do that. So, um, yeah, the countermeasures, it can be a little tough. You definitely got to keep um, uh, power in the engines and make sure you keep flying fast. So, there we go. We still got this target in front of us and he's moving slow and he's not evading, so he dies too. Um, so, keep, keep racking them up. So, doing the best we can here. Picking up another target of opportunity right in front of me. Target him real quick and uh, do those tie bombers now. Tie bombers, that was a mistake right there. You should never go head to head with a tie bomber, especially in an A wing. They are just too, uh, they can deliver too much power to the front. But he didn't take advantage. I stayed alive and I uh, was able to get behind him, kill him uh, pretty quick too. So that was nice. Again, you saw me go out of bounds. We see those lightning strikes in the cockpit. That's me flying out of bounds. This map, for whatever reason, I really have a hard time with that, so I can never really tell where the boundaries are. All right, here we go. We got another bomber. This, uh, these guys really like their tie bombers. They kept sending tie bombers, and they're neat ships because you can just chuck missiles like crazy out of them. But and they are durable as all get out. But they are not the most agile thing. So here we go. Another one. Scratch another Imperial off the uh, roster and now we go off to this TIE fighter here so try to get on him got another missile coming in and I think it hit me and again I'm out of bounds and it was just too much between the missile and the out of bounds and everything and it killed me so you see this guy kind of gets on me looks like he's one of the TIE advanced that, uh, get, that got me there so anyways you can see I'm doing okay. Top of the leaderboard here. Got the most kills, so let's see if we can keep that up. So here we go. This is, I think, my third ship, so I've died twice. Memory serves. Again, get the shields up first thing, overcharge them. Once they're up, go ahead and get your engines up. Um, I obviously was engaging right away. You can see I, I'm not moving my shields forward. That's a mistake, too. Right now I should have shields forward, but they're recharging quickly. And then I killed that guy with the missile, so... That worked out. So here we go. Um, getting some. Oh, I don't know what happened there. The like tie bomber got me. Let's see what happened. Should show us the replay. Just got on me real good with a repeater and uh, took me out. <laughs> nice job. All right, we're still at the top of the scoreboard though. That's good. That doesn't always happen. A lot of times I'll be middle of the pack. Sometimes I'm even at the bottom. But uh, this one I'm having a pretty good game of. It's a close match too. So, let's get back out there. You can see it's 15, 16 is the score. We're slightly behind. Doing everything I can to help my team. This game's a little rough when you're single player if you go against teams that are playing together. I actually just took that guy out because they can really decimate a single player no matter how good you are. Uh, you get two or three guys that are flying as a group and this can get on you with their guns all at once. Not a lot you can do. So, I, I prefer flying with my friends. But uh, everybody's working today, so it's just me. All right, so here we go. And, uh, going after that. I believe that's a tight defender, if I remember right. Really a thing, but I think those are tight defenders or tight something. If I got that wrong, I apologize. That was a, a ship that came out a little bit later. I'm not as familiar with that as the other ones. So either way, he blows up just as good as the other guys do, so that's cool. And here we go. So, uh, still looking, getting the shields charged back up. Once those are back up, diverting power back to engines and on the hunt again. And here we are, just flying around, trying to stay agile. I can see I got a missile on me, see if we can dodge that. You got to just stay nimble. Keep diving in and out of stuff. Uh, try not to hit anything. That's rule number one. Here we are, out of bounds again, and uh, come back into bounds. To find a target. Yeah, just bad about that on this map for whatever reason. And here, that was a mistake. I paid for it that time. You see, I was going against a TIE bomber and flew right at him. And that is just the quickest way to sign your death warrant. Get away from those guys. Get them from behind. Do not engage TIE bombers from the front. So, uh, fortunately, we still got 10 kills there, 4 deaths. So, we're still uh, doing okay that way. So... Let's do this um, right. See if we can pad that score just a little bit more. So we're at 20. And you can see they I couldn't see their score. They're, they're right there very close. It was a close match the whole way through. So we got uh, 
do something up there going for that repair. Got our fellow X-Wing flying next to us. And here they come. So coming in again, got missiles hot on our trail. Um, took a hit to the front shield, but not too bad. Still doing okay. We'll dispatch these guys here. It's another tie bomb, but that's how you should do it. Get them from behind. So come up behind them. Just unload on them. You can't do much when you're behind them. And uh, boom. Toast. So moving on. Next target, please. And you can see here, going after a TIE fighter. So we got this guy, and he did a kill, or uh, he, he's flew, flying kind of recklessly. Um, saw that, and then this, this guy were on him. And I think the sparks are a countermeasure, but the good news is there's no counter to lasers. So we'll just hit him with missiles, lasers, whatever it takes, and we'll get him up too. All right, so check, double check on your shields. Make sure the shields are good. If they're low, charge them up in between. See, I got the shields all the way up again. Up this guy, another missile inbound. So I still have some countermeasures, um, so I can either use them. I think I try to evade it here. I think I get get away from it. And you see, my shields are still good. So it's good on the hunt again. Get back in the fight. And what do we got? Let's see, cycling through targets and going for that bomber. I like to try to take the bombers out, again, because they seem to be the most devastating to my team. So, I'll set up a bomber and go after him again. See a bunch of multiple missiles after him. And then got shields, got the shields down, boom. He's toast. Going from the scrapyard. Now, victory imminent. Uh, that's not any foreshadowing at all, so now you get excited. We almost won. We're at 26, and uh, they're definitely behind us, so we just need a few more kills. So let's get after it and take out anything that moves. And uh, you can see there's TIE Fighter. We should be able to get him pretty easily. Let's go after the TIE Fighter. We only need a few more kills to win. Let's, uh, let's not blow it down. So chasing this guy, and uh, he's losing my lock on him. I don't know what was going on, but... Just say, okay, fine, just do it the old fashioned way. Stay on him, fly through stuff. And uh, he should be easy easy to kill, but he was a little a little sporty. He was a pretty good pilot. And I was just about to get a missile lock on him. And he goes behind the rock. So come around on him again. And uh, then he does the, the stop move, and that's never a good thing. So we're, uh, we're almost got him, and then. All of a sudden, I lose lock as he goes out of bounds and takes me out of bounds with him. So I totally lose my missile lock, totally have to turn around, disengage, and then he shoots back at me. And it was just a bad deal. And uh, then he turned around and took me out. So hate it when that happens. That should have been an easy one, but instead I uh, got killed by a plain old TIE fighter. Never good. But we're still at the top. We still have a chance to win this thing. So... We get back in the fight, okay. see what we can do. We only need a couple more kills. So as you know, as you've seen over and over, we charge the shields, overcharge those bad boys, get going, move the power to the engines once they're charged up, and get in the fight, start tracking. And we got one of these uh, TIE defenders again. He's toast. Regular little TIE fighter. At this point, it's like take out any target you can find because it's coming down to the home stretch. So we just go after the nearest target. So we've got a next one there. Pick this guy out, get a missile on him, and uh, it's another bomber, and then boom, defeat. <laughs> so we successfully snatched defeat from the Jaws of Victory there, but uh, it was a good time, it was a good match, though. So anytime we have a good match, it's a lot of fun, and uh, never never like seeing those uh, Imperials on the winner screen, but uh, it does happen. 29 to 30, we were so close. I had 14 kills, you can see I'm deadly. Um, not deadly enough, but I was deadly. And, uh, again, I don't mind a match when you lose if it was a good match, and that was definitely a good match. So that was uh, that was kind of it. So I hope everyone has a happy Star Wars Day, and once again, may the 4th be with you all. Check back soon. We'll have more content. Remember to get your game on.